Today we take up example number four in the topic of marketer selling. The links to the previous three examples are in the description section below. So please make sure that you watch those videos as well and practice those questions so that you can solve similar questions in the examination. Uh, let's get started with this question here. As you know, that marketer selling is used for distances uh, greater than 600 nautical miles. Uh, the only assumption is that uh, it assumes that the longitudes are vertical lines equally placed but it compensates for this assumption by the differing distance between the latitudes uh, the distance between the latitudes is called meridional paths and the difference between the two distances is called difference in meridional paths or dmp so let's get started by solving this question this question says that uh, we have to find by market or selling method the true course and distance between the two positions so we have been given position a and position b and we have to find the course and distance between the positions. We start by drawing a, a rough drawing to just to get an idea of uh, how the vessel might be proceeding. So based on the longitudes given to us, we have drawn the position of A and B here. The vessel is, is proceeding in this direction here. So we get an idea that the vessel is proceeding in a northwesterly fashion. And that's what our answer should reflect as well. So in this case, of course, uh, the distance between A and B is uh, the distance here uh, this side of the triangle is the d long like i said uh, marketer selling assumes that the longitudes are equally placed vertical lines it does take into account the curvature of the earth but it makes this certain assumption but uh, the distortion between the latitude is there so the difference between the latitudes are not equal distance so that's why we cannot call this a d lat but we call it DMP or the difference in the meridional paths of the latitudes and we'll, we'll learn how to calculate that as well. So let's get started. Uh, write down the two positions as given to you in the question, latitude of A and B and longitude of A and B. So we have the lat here and the long here. When you have the two latitudes, uh, different names means if you add the two to get the D lat. If they were same names such as south and south and north and north, you would subtract one from the other. But here they are different names. One is south, the other is north. You would add the two values to get the DLAT. Because you are going from south to north, you are going in a northerly direction. Your DLAT would be north as you can also see in the figure that you have drawn. So when you add the two, you get uh, 51 degrees 41 minutes as your DLAT. But we convert it into minutes by multiplying the degrees by 60 first so 60 multiplied by 51 would be i put that in my calculator 3060 and then you add the remaining minutes to this plus 41 will give you 3101 that's what we have here similarly you have the two longitudes they are both the same names so if they are both the same names you will subtract one from the other if they were different names you would have added it so you subtract it so once you subtract one from the other you get 28 degrees 34 minutes um, but this direction is west because as you can see as you are going from a to b you are going in a westerly fashion so your uh, longitude or east longitude is reducing so you are going from 120 east to 91 east so your east longitude is reducing so you are going in a westerly direction so from 120 east to 91 east you are going in a westerly direction this is west that's why your D long will be west as well. So once you subtract it, you get the answer 28 degrees 34 minutes. Convert it into minutes by multiplying the degrees by 60. So 28 by 60 will give you 1680 and then add the remaining 34 minutes to it. And you get 1714. That's your D long. Right, so this is your D long, this is your D lat, of course. Then the other thing you have to do is uh, calculate the meridional parts or MP of latitude A and MP of latitude B. So your latitude A is 41 degrees 29 minutes. Latitude B is 10 degrees 12 minutes. So you have to calculate for both the latitudes from the meridional parts table uh, as you would find in the Norris tables. So if you have Norris tables, uh, you have the meridional parts tables given to you. Otherwise, I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like, the meridional parts table. It's very simple to use, especially if there is no interpolation involved. So the first latitude that you have is the 41 degrees 29 minutes. 
so I'll go into 41 degrees 29 minutes here so this is uh, 41 degrees is here on the horizontal column and your minutes is in the vertical column so 29 minutes is somewhere here so the MP value or the meridional parts value will be 2724.66 so you go down the column of 41 degrees and go horizontally from 29 minutes and you get 2724.66 all right then for 10 degrees and 12 minutes we go back to 10 degrees and 12 minutes uh, this is where it is 10 degrees and 12 minutes so 10 degrees is in the horizontal column here 12 minutes is in the vertical column here go across 12 till you reach the column of 10 and you get 611.12 so here no interpolation is required because these are straightforward values the degrees and minutes are not in decimals it's pretty straightforward when there is an interpolation involved i'll show you those in the separate video as well so once you got these values just put those values here these are the values we got 2724.66 and 611.12 and because one is south the other is north based on the latitudes of a and b the same rules as dlat apply you will add the two values to get the dmp which is the difference in the meridional parts if they were same names you would have subtracted it but because they are different names based on the latitude you would add the two and you get the dmp as 3335.78 once you get the DLAT, DLONG and DMP, it's simply a matter of putting them in the formula. The formula is tan course divided by is equal to DLONG by DMP. Use the minutes value, do not use the degrees. You use degrees only if there is a sine cos tan or cosecant secant and cotangent preceding it. So put the DLONG value from above 1714 and the DMP value 3335.78 what you get is uh, 1714 divided by 3335.78 you should be getting somewhere around 0 0.51382 I'm sticking to five decimal places take tan to the other side becomes tan inverse of this value put a tan inverse value in the calculator so if you press shift and tan it will be tan inverse and the answer that you will be getting is 27.2 now what happens with courses is that uh, you should not have it in decimals because ideally you cannot uh, steer courses in decimals maybe a 0 0.5 but not 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.2 or 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.8 you cannot steer these courses so for practically you cannot steer this course although mathematically and for academic purpose 27.2 is the right answer but i would suggest that try to think about it practically so your course will be 27.2 but you will round it off to 27 degrees if it was more than 27.5 i would have rounded it off to 28 degrees that's how i like to think but depends on what your lecturer is teaching you but this is what i would suggest to you guys so once you got 27 degrees put the value north and west here where did i get the north and west from north i got from my dlat west i got from my d long also corresponds in the figure above i'm going in a northwesterly direction right so north 27 west would mean this is north this is west this is 270 this is 360 north 27 west would be somewhere here so i'm going down from 360 so 360 minus 27 would give me 333 degrees true that is my answer so i can steer this course i cannot steer a course of 333.8 or 333.7 or something like that isn't it practically it doesn't make sense then but anyway even if you write the other answer i will give marks for it or your assessor i'm sure will give marks for it but this is only for practical purposes then the last bit of this question is cos of course equals delight by distance you are trying to find distance and not course so distance will become here so distance will be equal to delight by cos course so cos course comes in the denominator you exchange the two so distance equals delight by cos course you know the delight value from above Put the course value of 333 degrees here so if 3101 divided by cos of 333 degrees would give you answer 3480.33 nautical miles this answer might slightly differ depending on what course value you take so if you have taken 333.8 or 333.2 or 0.4 the answer will slightly differ but the answers will be right anyway all right uh, in the larger scheme of things it will not matter so much uh, it will be in a range depending on the number of decimal places you take and the course value you take so don't stress too much about that
all the answers will be correct if you have done the correct method so this is very much it and i'll see you soon with my next video on either mercator selling or plane selling or great circle selling or intercept and mercator or meridian passage i'll take up different examples every time all the best guys